The Proe Ego myth tells the story of the transformation of the American city in the decades after World War II through the lens of the infamous Proe Ego housing development and the St. Louis residents who called it home. It began as a housing marvel. Built in 1956, Proe Ego was heralded as a model public housing project of the future, the poor man's penthouse. Two decades later, it ended in rubble. It's raising an iconic event that the architectural theorist Charles Jenks famously called the death of modernism. The footage and image of its implosion have helped to perpetuate a myth of failure, a failure that has been used to critic modernist architecture, attack public assistance programs, and stigmatize public housing residents. The Proe Ego myth seeks to set the historical record straight, to examine the interests involved in Proe Ego's creation, to reevaluate the rumors and the stigma, to implode the myth. Terribly arrived. It was just uncontrollable. Pruitt Ego is such a symbol that we tend to forget that it is no different than the city that surrounded it. What happened to St. Louis was tragic, but that's simply not how we've told the story. Pruitt Igo was always fighting against this terrible riptide of destruction in the midst of an economy that was dying. The strong, tightly knit communities and families in which I grew up had begun to shatter, and it wasn't there. And it was one of the most tragic things I've, I've seen. It seemed to me that we were being penalized for being poor. That caused so much anger. Persons that don't have a decent place to stay are willing to take these kinds of chances. Where we live, we're taking chances. This is it. This is out of control and we are no longer going to put up with it. We're not going to tolerate this anymore. Ahead at Sundance 2011 and winner of Edinburgh Film Festival's prize for Best New British Feature, the amazing genre creation directed by David Mackenzie stars Eva Green and Ewan McGregor as witnesses to the end of the world, strangers who form a desperate romantic connection in the face of an apocalyptic epidemic of sensory loss. When you're not eating. There is darkness. Incubation, very aggressive. He can't smell anymore. You can't smell anymore. They don't even have time to give the disease a name. There's over a hundred reported cases in England, France, Italy, Spain. The smell. All gone. That's the disease. And then the loss of another sense. You were just like all the others. I think it's okay to panic now. What should we do? There's still pleasures in the world, eh? Let's have them. how the darkness descends upon the world. It wasn't me. It was the disease. I need you to come back to me. But first, the shining moments to offer warmth, acceptance, love. Without love, there is nothing.
The terrifying secrets of a small town hero are exposed when a teenage prank turns deadly in a tense psychological thriller Beneath the Darkness. In Beneath the Darkness, Eli Wan is a pillar of the community in Tanny Smithville, Texas. The town's mortician Eli has been revered since his days as a high school star's quarterback. But since the tragic death of his wife two years earlier, Eli has withdrawn from his neighbors while local trains spread stories of supernatural goings on at Eli's mansion, which is also the funeral home. When high school friends Travis, Abby, Brian and Danny decide to check out the rumors, they are shocked to see the supposedly grieving widower dancing with a mysterious woman behind the curtains of his bedroom window. Their curiosity aroused the four teens wait for Eli to leave the house before breaking in to investigate. But instead of finding clues to the woman's identity, they stumble on a grotesque, long-hidden secret. The sadistic mortician next door will now stop at nothing to literally bury his past. What are you doing in my house? <laughs> Stairs can be very dangerous. Most accidents happen in the home. Why don't you believe us? Danny fell down those stairs. I was there. I saw him. There you are. <laughs> with that as a wrap up of this edition of box office we'll be back with a few more such as these so make sure you catch us then thanks for watching